format is basically followed. But you will also see in the modules in both grade school and high school that teachers also use the five E's and the three I's, sorry, only the five E's for the grade school and the high school, which is the instructional framework in lesson development. Five E stands for engage, explore, explain, elaborate, evaluate, or extend. And for the senior high school, the framework is the three I's, introduction, interaction, integration. You know, our teachers have been working on the module since April. Administration and teachers have been attending webinars on distance learning, on CLE, on LEAP, and SEAP, and the different um, online platforms and the apps, among others. Since April, there have been planning, ongoing discussions on distance learning, sharing, critiquing, and revising of modules within the subject areas and among the school leaders. May I also inform you that by the end of June, the 30th to be exact, all modules for the entire first quarter in both grade school and high school must already be submitted and checked. Actually, some of the modules are already submitted to the coordinators, uh, to the academic coordinators and the principals at this time. So may we now present to you sample modules from kinder, then to the grade school, junior high school, and the senior high school. Ms. Amorau, it's your turn now. Okay, good morning everyone. So for preschool, this is a sample of the preschool module. But the day will start with a very brief information or overview of what the pupils will be doing for the session. This is presented in such a way that they will feel as if their teacher is the one talking to them. So for the purpose of this presentation, I'd like to use the term learning coach. Will, will, uh, which will refer to the adult guiding the child in going through the activities in the module. The learning coach can be a parent, guardian, or any trusted adult that can ensure that the child is on task or performs the learning tasks assigned. So after that in for, um, introduction, the materials will also be enumerated, which will allow the learning coach to prepare what is needed ahead of time. Next, you will notice that each activity will have an approximate or suggested length of time. This will help the learning coach gauge if the child is at the right pace. Rest assured that one of the main considerations with regard to the kind of activity and time allotted is the attention span of pupils. So we normally begin the day with a motivation or a springboard, which will hopefully engage the pupil in the learning that is about to take place. Follow-up activities, such as the processing activity, will also be placed in modules to help guide the learning coach in processing the learning of the child. So these guide questions are included in order to ensure that lower order and higher order thinking skills are always tapped and developed, even in the preschool levels. Next would be the in introduction of the lesson or the topic for the day, which can be in a form of a PowerPoint presentation, a recorded video of the teacher, or a link to a YouTube video. This will be followed up by another opportunity to deepen the lesson of the day. Next is the hands-on activities. So we, this will ensure that screen time will be less, especially in the younger kids. So these will involve activities that they can do with the family or with their parent or with the learning coach and we allow them to move, which is also very crucial in young learners. After that, is the hands um sorry it's the writing activity so part of distance learning is developing their writing skills thus activities that involve writing or drawing will also be included in the module 
this is also why workbooks are considered necessary in distance learning. Finally, at the end of each lesson, we will include a closure activity which the pupils will accomplish. This will also allow them to reflect on what they learned about during the session. So that's it for our sample module in preschool. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Amaral. Good morning, everyone. For the grade school, this is how it will go. Uh, the subject calendar. So this is the sample subject calendar to the, of the first trimester, which we shall give the parents. This contains the module number, the dates covered, and the topics or competencies for that particular module. This will take the place of the scope and sequence or course outline, which we used to give you. Next, please. This is what a five-day cycle module may look like in the grade school. It won't literally look like this, but the components of the five-day cycle would include most of the items you see here. Also, please note that one module does not necessarily mean one week. A module may extend to the following week depending upon the schedule or number of meetings of a particular subject per week. It will also differ depending upon the difficulty of the topic to be discussed and the tasks to be accomplished. Let me show you a sample. The module is written in the perspective of students. Instructions are conversational in nature. It should make the student motivated to go on. It begins with a greeting or introductory message from the teacher. This sets the tone for the day's lesson. Short, easy to understand instructions are given. The module is a guide or framework for the lesson, for the content is embedded in the actual materials of the teachers inside the learning platforms. And of course, as Ms. Amorau and Ms. Castro mentioned, in the textbooks that they will still be using. Next, please. Each day also has the opportunity for students to ask questions for clarifications. It also ends with their assessment of their own understanding of the lesson. All these are documented in the notebooks so they can go back to these later on for further enrichment. Next. Note that true to our promise of equity, the modules are formatted such that the tasks for both online and offline learners are side by side. If you compare the tasks, you will see that we tried to make them equitable despite the limitations of offline learners. So basically, that's going to be how the modules for grade school will be. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Franco. Thank you, Ms. Franco. Welcome, Pa. Now, the sample module for the junior high school. Okay. Uh, this is in chemistry. So, you see there, again, um, the template on the teaching modality, learning management, and the materials used, and, of course, the content and the performance standards. I am not going to go through one by one of this because it's a very long module and it's chemistry. Um, but you will see there, there are online tasks and offline tasks. Now, for equity, you will see there also um, the slice of chemistry, which is an online activity and an offline activity, again, for the slice of chemistry. This is what we call equity. Uh, next, please. Okay, um, focus on matter and the branches of chemistry. And it states there that they have to read pages 9 to 10 of the chemistry book to know more about matter 
and then the other one a chemistry book to know more about the branches of chemistry you would notice these are only infographics um quite just an overview um overview of information about chemistry as a mystery so in this is this further understand and have a more co comprehensive information and understanding about matter and branches of chemistry next please okay. evaluate and again they have uh, rather the module has the offline test and the online test in whatever part and then at the bottom is a synthesis and it says congratulations you're all set to explore the world of chemistry etc and this is also the part where in the students will be given a more practical task and also uh, a task that is related or a question that is related to real life application of chemistry that would be all thank you good morning for the senior high school sample module Again, in the senior high school, we make use of the 3I instructional model in unpacking the activities, namely introduction, interaction, and integration. This ensures an effective way of lesson development. You can see in the module the content and performance standards set by DepEd in its revised curriculum guide called the MELTS. Apart from it, learn targets are also unpacked. These are objectives for the lesson that we are going to discuss. It is then followed by introduction. It introduces the students using engaging activities. Again, it is accessible in all learning modalities. Online and offline tasks are given to students. It is then followed by interaction, an interactive activity wherein students will be asked to collaborate. Yes, you heard me right. Even in online and offline tasks, students can still hone a very important life skill and that is their collab ability to collaborate with their classmates, with their siblings, or with you, their parents, through carefully designed interactive activity by their teachers. Deepening then follows or happens in the integration part of the module wherein students are of what they are learning in the real world where they can apply their knowledge and skills. And the lesson ends with synthesis and reflection. Now, don't forget that, again, we uh, ask the parents to sign uh, at the end of each module. Thank you. That's all for the modules. Thank you, Ms. Okay. Bea Bert and Ms. Castro. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Faith, about your question on how will the modules be delivered, that will explain in a that will be explained in a while by Ms. Franco. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's now proceed to the class schedule. Um the schedule actually depends on the department and grade levels, no? You might be asking, why do we have, why is there a class schedule when students can just work on their own time? Of course, they can do that because the home is a flexible learning environment. But for STC, a class schedule is important for the following reasons. A schedule ensures that the students have time to work on the modules that they are productive, they are on task during the day, and hopefully all tasks finish at the end of the period because there are some outputs that they need to be to submit rather at the end of the day. A schedule teachers, sorry, a schedule teaches students to be focused and organized, to have stability in accomplishing tasks, and to meet deadlines. We call this academic discipline and we would request you the parents to help us achieve academic discipline 
it sets clear boundaries between the time for learning and the time for leisure. But if students prefer to spend more time watching, let's say, Netflix, I'm sorry to say they lose more time for learning and more time for relaxation after class hours because they have not finished answering the modules. Let us put in mind, next slide please, that the schedule will help the students to finish a quarter or problemic and the principles behind the schedule of every department. Ms. Amurao? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Owen. You're welcome. So, for preschool, our curriculum focuses on meeting the most essential learning competencies alongside other necessary skills and abilities that will prepare them for the next grade level. This will be done by ensuring the smooth transition and adjustment of pupils from the traditional setup to distance learning. The different activities in the schedule will focus on character and values formation, reading, writing, and communication skills. These will be facilitated using a combination of synchronous and asynchronous methods of instruction. So um, here you can see the sample schedule for pre-kinder. Um, if you notice, we have also reduced the time to make it more realistic for families who will support their children in distance learning. Please do note also that pupils are only going to spend a maximum of 20 to 30 minutes for synchronous sessions within the day together with a small group of students. This will allow the teachers to ensure that each child is given attention during the session. Accommodations will be given should the pupil miss her scheduled synchronous session and it will not be taken against her. Next slide, you will see the sample kinder schedule. So for the rest of the day, the child and her learning coach will go about the activities scheduled on their dedicated time for learning at home. While we have a suggested daily schedule like what Ms. Owen said, parents need not worry because they are given a whole week to work on their own pace during asynchronous learning. Daily and weekly classroom schedules are given to simulate the feel of a class day and facilitate time management and study skills of students. The preschool coordinator, class advisors, and team teachers will do check-ins to gauge how the pupils are coping and to monitor their attendance. While we have AM and PM sections, most of the live sessions will be held in the morning. This will allow the pupil and their learning coach to go about the rest of the activities within the day based on their dedicated learning time that is consistent and fits into the family routine. 